Check the audio once. Am I, am I audible now? Am I audible now, students? Show the chat once again. Show the chat once again. Am I audible? Chat, chat, chat. Yes, now I think I am audible. Yes, yes. Thank you guys. Thank you very, very much for giving me that confirmation. That's how you support each other. Thank you. Chalo, let's start it. And before starting, I would love to tell you that these PYQs that I am going to present here in the coming 50 minutes, my lovely kids, they will be according to the topics. They won't be random. Yes, so first we will talk about what are the various questions that NTA has asked from, let's say, Monera, then Protista, then Fungi, then Plante, Kingdom Plante, Animalia. But roughly there are zero questions from which NTA has asked question. Right, because mostly questions from, let's say, Kingdom Animalia and Plantae given or discussed under biological classification, uh, much of the questions are not asked. Why? Because dedicated chapter, chapter 3 and chapter 4 is there. And then in the end, I will give you practice of the questions related to virus, viroid, prions, lichens, lichens, etc. Right? So all these PYQs will be first class ma'am yeah that's the first class for botany right so this is the first chapter that i am discussing pyqs on that is biological classification this is very much important my dear students so definitely you are going to get at least two to three questions from this chapter and that is why i am start starting these botany classes this pyq sessions on infinity learn by sri chaitanya neek channel with this chapter two PYQs, biological classification. So before starting, let me tell you the priority order or let me rather tell you the weightest of each and every topic in it. So please listen this. As far as your biological classification is concerned, maximum probability or I can say maximum weightage is given to kingdom fungi. Right? Very, very important. Kingdom fungi, one. Second is your monera and third is your virus, viroids, that wala group. Okay. So, according to R.H. Whitaker, that is not a kingdom. But in the history of NEET from 2013 to 2021, yeah, NEET first started in 2013. Just if you do not know, let me tell you. It's a general knowledge question for you as of now. Right? So, before 2013, it was AIPMT, right? So, NEET started from 2013. And the latest one is 2021. So till date, maximum question came from fungi, then from monera, and then from virus, viroids, that wala paragraph. Okay. So maximum time you should allocate to this. So now, my dear students, as far as I can see, there are roughly 50 days remaining in your NEET 2022. So whatever time you are giving for the revision to each and every chapter of biology, you need to know where you need to invest your more energy and where you can either skip that particular topic or even I can say if you have a little more time give less time to those topics which do not hold higher probability right so do not worry I am with you my dear students I'm going to help you in preparing for your NEET 2022 I'm going to give you the best revision strategy let's start with biological classification and similarly in the next session I will tell you about the PYQs and how and what is the probability of different topics in plant kingdom and likewise I will continue. So this is the time where you need to revise, where you need to know how to efficiently utilize your time, right? So when it comes to biological classification, give maximum time to fungi, monera, virus, virus, prions, lichens and or lichens you can say, right? So that's the order you need to follow. So let me see who else is there in my class. Hello, Yashwant. Oh, Yashwant, are you saying something? You deleted the message, I guess. Let me know if there is something I need to know. Okay, so as far as you can see, my dear students, this is the first sub topic topic or uh, this is the first topic rather i should say that we're going to talk about. And the first question is coming on your screen. Hello, Kaya. So I will appreciate if you will participate in the session too. And here comes the very first question for you guys. The first question is, yeah, so this is your match the following question. So you have to match column one with column two. 
This question was asked in Odisha NEET 2019. Odisha NEET 2019. Come on guys, give it a try everybody. You know the answer or no does not matter. You're going to attend it correctly or incorrectly doesn't matter. What matters in this session is that you try. If you're going to hit it right, excellent. If you do not get it right, I am there to help you my dear students. But the point is, I can't help you until and unless you help your own self. So you have to help yourself first. Yes, Yashwant is trying. Uncle is trying. What about other guys? Come on, give it a try. Give it a try. Good. Now let me try also. So halo files, thermoacidophile, methanogens. What are these, my lovely kids? These are actually your RK bacteria. Halo files, thermoacidophiles, methanogens are RK bacteria, and this is your U bacteria, the cyanobacteria, right? So let's see. Uh, halo files are the salt loving. Archibacteria, thermoacidophiles are the archibacteria that you can get in hot spring, right? Methanogens are the archibacteria that you can get in the guts of the ruminants and they produce methane gas over there. Thank you, Sunil. Yes, this is very beneficial session for your coming NEET 2022. Cyanobacteria, cyanobacteria you can find in aquatic environment, both marine and fresh. So A goes with four, B goes with one, C goes with three and D goes with two. That's perfectly correct. Excellent uncle, Azim, Yashwan, Sunil, KR, excellent. Now let's see the next question then. Next question, here it comes. Which of the following are found in extreme saline condition? Please notice my dear students, NTA has a history of repeating the questions. So while doing the practice of PYQs, it is very, very important for you to understand the pattern that NTA is following. So on the previous slide, I showed you the question related to halo files. Again, the question is asked on halo files, but instead of writing halo file, what the NTA has written? found in extreme saline conditions. So please try to trace this pattern, my kids. Please try to trace this pattern. Try to see from which paragraph, from which lines, from which concept, NTA is repeatedly asking questions. So whenever you're sitting for the revision, let's say 10 days before exam, one week before exam, exam five days before exam. So these are the important areas which you should never ever skip before sitting for your NEET 2022 paper. So everybody is saying yeah so which of the following is found in extreme saline condition extreme saline condition is a very harsh habitat it's a very harsh habitat and you know it is the rk bacteria who are actually known for existing in those harsh conditions where otherwise living organisms do not survive, right? So your right answer is definitely Archaebacteria. Excellent, guys. Keep it up. Keep, keep it up. Keep it up. Next, which of the following are the smallest living cells known without a definite cell wall? They do not have a cell wall. Let me tell you, NT has repeated this question several times in the history of NEAT. They are pathogenic to not only plant but, but also animals and can also survive without oxygen. This question was asked by NTA in NEET 2017. Let me know what's the right answer. Let me know what's the right answer. Come on, Uncle, Azim, Yashwant. Give it a try. Give it a try, my lovely kids. Sunil, KR, come on, give it a try. Excellent. That is mycoplasma. The description about mycoplasma is given under Kingdom Monera. Next question. Next question. Which of the following component provides sticky character to the bacterial cell? This question was asked in NEET 2017. Come on, give it a try, my lovely kids. Which of the following component provides sticky character to the prokaryotic cell? Even, even the description of this is given in chapter number 8, cell the unit of life there also. Uh, in prokaryotic cell, this thing has been discussed over there. Uh, cell envelope and its modification. Can you, can you guess this one? Come on, can you guess this one? Everybody, Yashwant, Uncle, Sunil, Azim, come on, keep the energy high and keep guessing. Come on. Yes, you all are absolutely correct. The answer is glycocalyx. Next question, guys. Keep this good work. Continue this. Methanogen, methanogens belong to. Now, notice this. This is the third time we are talking about methanogens or RK bacteria. So, what I want to make it a point over here. Everybody, listen this very clearly. 
Archaebacteria under Kingdom Monera is the most important topic. In NCRT, just a small paragraph related to Archaebacteria is given. Roughly five to six lines are there. That, that paragraph is very, very important. Repeatedly, NT is asking question from that pa small paragraph of Archaebacteria. So, never ever skip Archaebacteria while sitting for your NEET 2022. And these are the PYQs that are giving you the evidence right it's the proof that continuously nta loves to ask question from archaebacteria excellent methanogens belongs to archaebacteria they produce methane gas they are found in the guts of the ruminants right guys okay and also in the marshy areas perfect let's see the next question from monera the primitive prokaryotes responsible for production of biogas. Can you relate this, guys? Now, see this question. See this here. Methanogens belongs to. This question was asked in NEET second phase 2016. Right? And see this. This, 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 this. This question is asked in NEET phase 1 2016. Right? Same question. Just NTA has changed the format. And that's exactly what I want everybody sitting in this class to understand that try to trace the pattern, try to read the, the mind of exam uh, setter, right? Who is setting your paper, try to read their mind. They are making the same questions. They're just changing the clothes, right? So they're just changing the format. They're just changing the sentences. The question is same, the answer is same, but the language is different. And every year they're doing this. That is why that's the importance of PYQs, my dear students. The same importance that you give to your teacher Please give that same importance to PYQs. They are your path setter. They will tell you where exactly you are standing in your particular chapter or a subject. If you are able to solve the PYQs, you will definitely be able to solve or attempt correctly any question related to that particular chapter in the coming NEET 2022 if you are comfortable in the PYQs. And PYQs will also tell you which portions you can skip or maybe the, the concepts or maybe the, the paragraphs, the information, the facts, which NTA has not asked till date any single question. If you have really very, very less time, you can even afford to either skip them or ignore them. But again, I'm not telling you to not read all or uh, the whole of the NCRT or whole of the notes related to each and every chapter. I'm not saying that. I'm just telling you to become smart. I'm just telling you that if you have 50 days time, maybe you'll be able to revise everything all chapter in detail. But when you will have just less than a week time, you won't be able to do that. So in that time, my dear students, you can skip out other topics, but at least practice or revise those topics from which NTA has already asked question and how will you come to know by solving the PYQs and it's not only just solving the PYQs it is analyzing the PYQs as well so open your ears mind eyes and analyze which are the important topics and lines and concepts that you need to revise at least once before sitting into the exam right is that clear are you are you are you understanding what I'm trying to explain lovely kids other than the questions are you trying to understand this? Yashwant is asking ma'am up to what time class will continue? Till what time you want Yashwant? Uh, okay, you can tell me. You want me to wrap up uh, uh, nearly 4? You have some other classes to attempt? You can tell me. Uh, and I hope you are talking about this class only. You want to know when I am going to finish this session? Do let me know in the chat box. And if you have any other class. Okay. So let me tell you, if you guys are quick, if you guys are fast, we can complete it around 4 p.m. Or maybe 5 to 10 minutes extra do that. Is that going to work? Is that going to work? Let me know. It all depends upon you guys. So the primitive prokaryote responsible for production of biogas from the dung of the ruminant animals includes. What does it include? They are included as, everybody gave the right answer. Yes, they are included as methanogens. Methanogens are the one that produces methane gas. Is this clear? Yeah, another class is there. We are enjoying this. Thank you very much. So, yes. So, let's see the next question. Don't worry. I will try to wrap up around four so that you don't miss out the next class. Archaebacteria differ from eubacteria in. This question was asked in NEET 2014. Come on. Be quick. What do you think is the right answer? 
RK bacteria differ from U bacteria in this is an NCRT based question. The answer is given in NCRT in, in RK bacteria paragraph. Come on guys, give it a try. Give it a try. Yes, excellent cell membrane structure. Let's see the next question. Okay, these were the questions that NTA has asked, these important questions in the history of NEET exam from Kingdom Monera. Now, let's see what are the important questions from Kingdom Protista that were asked by NTA in the history of NEET. Yeah, so let's see your first question, guys. Yes, it is okay. This question was asked in NEET 2018. I need to change the ink, I guess. Give me a moment. I think blue is going to work, right? Yeah, blue is going to work. So tell me, uh, which of the following organisms are known as chief producers in the ocean? Chief producers in the ocean. Chief producers in the ocean ecosystem. Who are the ones who are producing food for almost everybody out there in ocean? Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Be quick. Be quick. Be quick. Yes, excellent. The answer is diatoms. Let's see the next question. Select the wrong statement. Please, students, whenever such questions comes, do not make mistake. Read each and every sentence very clearly. Which of the following is the wrong statement? Come on. Which of the following is the wrong statement? Which of the following is the wrong statement? I did not see any answer from Azim. Okay, Azim is saying B. Ha ha, okay. See what is written over here wrong statement. Are you guys reading it? This is wrong statement. They are asking The walls of diatoms are easily destructible. Do you think so? No, they are not easily destructible. They are made up of silica. They are indestructible Right, this one is the incorrect one diatomaceous earth is formed by the cell wall of diatoms. Yes, Diatoms are chief producers. Right now, you saw in the pre on the previous slide the same question was asked by NTA. See how NTA is repeating questions, repeating its history. There, they made an individual question on this sentence, and here they have on this in this year they have utilized the same question as one of the statements. So that's how NTA repeat questions. Diatoms are microscopic and float passively on the water. That is also perfectly correct over here. So that's the only incorrect option. Is that okay, everybody? Give me a thumbs up if this much is okay. Did you understand? You, you were supposed to read the word nicely. Is this much okay? Give me thumbs up if this much is okay, everybody in the class. Azim, Yashwant, Ankul, Sunil. Are you guys there? I'm not getting any reply. <laughs> okay, so chrysophytes, euglenoid, dinoflagellate and slime molds are included under which? Okay, thank you. So try to give the answer to this one. This question was asked in NEET phase 1 2016. Chrysophyte, euglenoids, dinoflagellate, slime molds are included under which group? Give it a try. Come on, be quick. Come on, students. Be quick. Be quick. Excellent. It is protesta. Everybody is saying protesta. Excellent. Next one. Uh, in which of the following organism the cell wall forms two thin overlapping shells that fit together like this, like a soap case. So which of the following organism cell wall fits like a soap case? Come on, give it a try my lovely kids. Everybody. Who is saying euglenoids? Euglenoids are what is it? Everyone is D, 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 D. The answer is diatoms, right? Diatoms belong to which group? Diatoms belong to which group? Diatoms belong to chrysophytes. Golden algae. Diatoms belong to chrysophytes. Is this clear? Are you going to make this mistake again? Let me know in the chat box. Are you going to make this mistake again? Are you going to make this mistake again? Say yes or no. Say yes or no. Are you going to make this mistake again? Say yes or no. I'm waiting for you in the chat box. Yes, chrysophytes, not euglenoids. Yes, good. So please remember this, that that was a silly mistake you people did, right? Okay, so these were the important questions, my kids, that NTA has asked in the history of need from...
kingdom protesta now let's see what are the important questions that nta has asked from kingdom fungi that is the most important this is the most important topic from biological classification you may not get question from other topic let's say but definitely from fungi there can be a chance that NTN NEET 2022 may ask one or two questions. At least one will be there, but they can be two questions also. Who knows, right? It depends upon the mind of the paper setter, right? So at least never ever skip kingdom, fungi, and also monera and virus viroids, okay? These are very important topics. Okay, so let's see the first question, kids. Get ready. This was asked in NEET 2019. Which of the following is incorrect? Come on. Be patient and see which one is incorrect. Be patient and see which is the incorrect one. Everybody, which of the following is incorrect? Come on, come on. Yes, this is the important topic, Azim. Tell me, guys, which of the following is incorrect? Which of the following is incorrect? Everybody, everybody. Come on. Huh. Yes. The yeast have filamentous bodies with long thread like hyphae. This is incorrect. That means this is the answer for this question. Why? Because yeast is a unicellular organism. It's a member of ascomycetes. Remember in NCRT it is mentioned that most of the members of ascomycetes are multicellular but rarely unicellular example saccharomyces and saccharomyces is none other than your yeast is this clear everybody yeah excellent let's see the other options as well morels truffles are edible definitely clevisef is a source of many alkaloids and lsd definitely that's right that's not there in the ncrt but you can remember Conidia are produced exogenously and ascospores are produced endogenously. That's right. Conidia are the asexual spores. Asexual spores means the spores that will help in asexual reproduction in the members of ascomycetes and they are produced exogenously. They are not produced inside any closed structure. They are produced on conidiophores, the special mycelium. Ascospores in the members of ascomycetes are the sexual spores. So what do I mean when I say sexual spores? The spores that will help in, these are asexual spores, conidia, they will help in asexual reproduction. Ascospores are the sexual spores that they will help in sexual reproduction. Ascospores are produced inside a closed structure known as ascus, right? Hence we say ascus is produced, hence we say ascus is produced endogenously, but conidia exogenously. So that's a good question. Please remember this. Next question. Match. This was asked in NEET 2019. Give it a try my kids. What do you think is the right answer to this question? Everybody, what do you think is the right answer to this question? Come on. Come on my kids. Come on. That's match. Okay. So are you guys giving answers? No, you haven't. Come on, give it a try. Everybody, Azim, Sunil, Yashwant, Ankul, come on guys. What is the right answer? Everybody. Everybody. Yashwant, Ankul, Sunil. You haven't replied. Azim is replying. Thank you, Azim. Yashwant, Ankul, come on. Saprophytes, saprophytes are the living organisms my dear students that obtain their nutrition from dead and decaying organic matter decomposition of dead and decaying organic matter parasite are the organisms which either live inside or outside the living organism it can be plant or animal living on plants or animals okay that's that's a little mistake over here it is lichens right spelling mistake so lichens or lichens also if you call they are symbiotic association between algae and fungi my kids mycorrhiza is a symbiotic association between fungi and roots of higher plants right so the right answer is a to two b is three c is four and d is one yeah everybody is absolutely correct over here give yourself a clap clap right as of now i can't send you a clap clap in the chat box but you yourself should give a clap clap to yourself come on excellent keep this good work continue this good work neat 2018 
okay so this one uh, after karyogamy now that's a good question i personally like this question let me see how you are are you able to get this one or not after karyogamy followed by meiosis spores are produced exogenously so see guys first i want everybody to try this question try this question azim uncle yashwan try this question everybody try this question mm -hmm. a option is correct azim is saying a option is correct okay everybody try this this is a good question come on guys everybody everybody all my lovely kids give it a try koshish karo apne aap se ek bar koshish karo ओके तो अब आप लोग देखना या ओके एक्सेलेंट आ ओके अजीम यू हैव चेंज्ड योर आंसर माय लवली किड यस यू मस्ट हैव गॉट दैट हिंट राइट या परफेक्ट सो लेट मी टेल यू फॉर एवरीबॉडी वंस एंड फॉर ऑल अंकल यू आर अगेन गिविंग द आंसर न्यूरोस्पोरा रियली अंकल आई एक्सप्लेन यू इन द मॉर्निंग ओनली Uncle, you want to change the answer or not? Uncle, you are giving me the same answer that you gave in the morning. Uncle, please remember, right? This is the second time we are revising on same day. Yeah. So, uh, okay. So, what you are supposed to do is let's read the question first. After karyogamy followed by meiosis. spores are produced exogenously first of all they are talking about spores second thing is in this question directly it is not mentioned what kind of spores they are talking about is it sexual spores or asexual spores but if you notice the first half of the question it says these spores are sexual spores why because after karyogamy followed by meiosis when meiosis will take place when karyogamy plasmogamy karyogamy will take place when meiosis will take place it's during the sexual reproduction it's during the sexual reproduction so what did you understand the hint is these spores are sexual spores these are sexual spores the spores that will help in sexual reproduction now tell me where in which group in which class of fungi you have read that the sexual spores are produced exogenously anyone no. okay so sorry azim so sorry please accept my apologies i thought you are giving answer to this one i'm so sorry multiple uh, um, replies are coming so i got confused please accept my apologies azim okay so what i was talking about yeah so let's talk about the options neurospora neurospora belongs to ascomycetes alternaria belongs to deuteromycetes and you know deuteromycetes uh, the members included under deuteromycetes till date no sexual reproduction stage has been discovered so this is definitely discarded option saccharomyces is also ascomycetes and agaricus is basidiomycetes now if you notice my kids two only two groups are there ascomycetes and basidiomycetes now remember in ascomycetes asexual reproduction or asexual spores are conidia conidia are produced exogenously sexual spores or the spores that helps in sexual reproduction in members of ascomycetes like neurospora like neurospora and saccharomyces which are ascomycetes in them sexual reproduction takes place via ascospores and they are produced endogenously inside a structure known as ascus so all these two options are also discarded let's talk about deuteromycetes let's talk about agaricus which is a member of sorry let's talk about basidiomycetes agaricus is a member of basidiomycetes in them sexual reproduction takes place with the help of basidiospores which are produced exogenously over a structure known as basidium is this much is this much clear everybody is this much clear are you satisfied with the explanation if yes write give me a thumbs up in the chat box if you are satisfied with the explanation of this question give me a thumbs up in the chat box if not you can tell me i will try to explain it again in some other way right next question This was asked in NEET second phase 2016. Which of the following is wrong for fungi? Come on, my kids. Which of the following is wrong for fungi? Everyone, thank you, Azim. Which of the following is wrong for fungi? Everybody, give it a try. 
be quick come on which of the following is wrong for fungi which of the following is wrong for fungi everyone which of the following is wrong for fungi wrong hai ha theek se padhna wrong for fungi yes you all are absolutely correct fungi possess cell wall that includes chitin they do not possess purely cellulogic cell wall that's absolutely wrong all fungi possess purely cellulogic wall wrong they possess chitin in their cell wall chalo let's take uh, they are eukaryotic definitely kingdom fungi is included under eukaryotes they are heterotrophic yes they are saprotrophic they are even parasitic they are both unicellular and multi yes unicellular like yeast multicellular most of the members chalo let's see the next question uh this question was asked in neat phase 1 2016 which of the following statement is wrong so did you notice my kids nt is repeatedly framing question sentence based question where they are asking you to choose wrong one right uh, and whenever you are supposed to uh, choose the wrong one it becomes little tougher because you are supposed to know three correct already so choosing wrong out of the right one is become is actually a little difficult than choosing a right one from all the wrong ones the three wrong ones right so please notice nt is repeatedly asking questions multiple uh, questions based on sentence based questions based on which uh, choose the wrong one so please be familiar and acquainted with this one okay let me check that you bacteria uh oh uh, what can you expect simpler than this from fungi or let's say not fungi i'll say from monera right so what simple you can expect from a question from kingdom monera where you're asking about just the term u bacteria the term u bacteria starts or it stands for true bacteria u bacteria are also called true bacteria nothing can be simple than this phycomycetes are also called algal fungi true uh cyanobacteria also called prugreen true golden algae are called desmids true let's see the next one uh this question was asked in neat phase 1 2016 do you see how many times questions are coming from the same topic in the same year one of the major component of the cell wall of the most fungi one of the major component of the cell wall of the most of the members of fungi come on guys pretty simple question pretty simple question everybody 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 uncle is saying c c c c c c okay okay uncle i got it so answer is c chitin excellent excellent everybody excellent but i'm not getting any replies from yashwant hello sana very warm welcome sana you are late but let me tell you my dear i have discussed some very very important pyqs that nt has asked in the history of need from biological classification it's my kind request sana uh after this class if you are attending uh, the other zoology class also which is going to uh, take like the, it will start around 4 pm right so if you are taking that that's that's okay if after attending that live class my dear students it's my kind request go through this entire class hello pujita very warm welcome to this class so you guys have joined in the last 10 minutes of the class but that's okay now please be active on this channel and set a reminder for every class that is published so every day of a week from monday to friday you have classes live classes on infinity learn by shri chatanya neat channel right so do subscribe it and set the reminder also and and keep on daily visiting the channel so that you come to know which classes will be conducted right so after attending this zoology class it's my kind request my lovely kids go through this class of botany the record the recording i mean right now the live is going on right then you will see the recording so please go through and all the questions are important it's very very important for your coming neat 2022 preparation you need to know what are the types of facts concepts information on which nt is already asked question from this chapter so this is a very very important class please watch the recording who else has not who has not attended it okay yeah so yeah everybody is right over here next question uh next question was asked in 2015 the imperfect fungi which are decomposers of litter and help in mineral recycling belong to come on guys everybody the imperfect fungi which are decomposers everyone 
पुजीता सना अजीम यशवंत अंकुल वेर आर यू गाइज Yes, that's right. It's deuteromycetes. So, de members of deuteromycetes are known as fungi imperfecti because, till date, a perfect stage of sexual reproduction has not been discovered till date in the members of fungi included under deuteromycetes. That is why they are known as imperfect fungi. Let's see the next question. Choose the wrong statement again. See how many times NTA has asked questions like choose the wrong statement. Everybody, this question was asked in 2015. This question was asked in 2015. Come on, everybody, give it a try. Choose the wrong statement. Morals, truffles are poisonous mushroom. Do you think so? Sana, you're saying penicillium is multicellular and produces. Sana, everybody, they are asking about wrong statement. Which of the following is wrong or false over here? Everybody, everybody, Yashwan, you are not giving any reply. Are you not there in the class, Yashwan? Morals and truffles are not poisonous. They are edible. They are edible. They are, in fact, quite costly edible items, right? Mushrooms. They are also, they are not mushrooms. Morals and truffles are quite... Um, they are delicacies and they are quite expensive also. They are even called as black gold of the food industry. They are that expensive, right? They are edible. Next, so this one is the wrong one. Next question, pick the wrong statement again. Pick the wrong statement. I mean, NTA is like making, making maximum sentence-based question uh, in that similar pattern. Choose the incorrect, choose the wrong, choose like false statement like that. So please be very clear. Please be attentive while attempting the question. Everybody, pick the wrong statement. This was asked in 2015. This was asked in 2015. Come on, give it a try, my lovely kids. Pujita, Sana, Ankul, Azim, Sunil, Yashwant. Give it a try. <laughs> okay, nuclear membrane is present in Monera. This is wrong. Nuclear membrane is not present in Monera. Why? Because Monera or Monerans are prokaryotes. And in prokaryotes, in prokaryotes, my lovely kids, nuclear membrane is absent. Yes, excellent. Let's see the next question then. Yeah, so these were the important questions on which NTA has already asked questions related to kingdom fungi. Very, very important. Now, let's see what are the questions that NTA has asked from this topic, virus, viroids, prions and lichens. Very, very important. So, get ready guys. Here comes the first question. This was asked in NEET 2020. Which of the following is correct about viroids? Which of the following is correct about viroids? Come on, give it a try. Everyone, come on, give it a try. Which of the following is? Come on, everybody. Sana, Azim, Pujita, Uncle, Yashwant. Which of the following is correct? Which of the following is correct about viroids? Come on, give it a try. Come on, guys. Come on. Azim says B. Uncle says B. Everybody. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Excellent. Viroids are smaller than viruses. They have free RNA molecules without protein coat. So, virus can have either RNA or DNA as the genetic material, but that will be protected under a protein coat, capsid, right? But when it comes to viroid, they're smaller than viruses and they just have free RNA. They do not have that protein coat. Excellent, everybody. Let's see the next question. Mad cow disease in cattle is caused by an organism which has, question was asked in Odisha NEET 2019. So first of all, what type of an organism is this and what is the characteristic? So the answer is not asked about the name of the organism, but they are asking about the characteristics. Yeah, absolutely. It is actually prions and prions are nothing but abnormally folded protein, which are infectious in nature. They cause mad cow disease. Is this clear? Everyone good. Next question. This question was asked in NEET 2019. Which of the following statement is incorrect? Which of the following statement is incorrect? Everybody give it a try. Everybody give it a try. 
come on azim ankul sunil fatima sana pujita yashwant give it a try my lovely kids yashwant what are you writing b s e ye kya hai ye koi code hai tumhara which of the following statement is correct okay you must be writing about correct then right it is asking about which of the following is incorrect which of the following is incorrect everybody excellent infectious constituent in virus is protein code that is wrong infectious constituent in virus is actually the genetic material it is the genetic material now that genetic material can be either dna or rna ab ye kuch bhi ho sakta hai depend karta hai wo rna virus hai ya dna virus hai right guys yeah excellent let's see the next question viroids differ from viruses and having this question was asked in neat 2017 viroids differ from viruses in having come on viroids differ from viruses in having everybody d for doctor <laughs> that's right smart i like it azim next question a uh, viroids differ from viruses in having virus differ from viroids in have viroids differ from virus in having viroids differ from virus in having come on guys so yeah that's right viroids have rna molecule without protein codes because viroids are nothing but free rna molecules that's right so viroids differ from virus in having rna molecules without protein code excellent c for cute oh that's so nice next question this was asked in neat phase 1 2016 which of the following statement is wrong for viroids wrong for viroids which of the following is wrong for viroids come on guys everybody which of the following is wrong for viroids which of the following is wrong for viroids come on wrong for viroids everybody excellent their rna is not of higher molecular it is rather of lower molecular weight in comparison to viruses is this much clear everybody excellent 2015 this question was asked in 2015 wrong statement uh, choose or select the wrong statement choose the wrong statement Yeah that's right viroids were not discovered by DJ rather viroids were discovered by T O Diner Right my kids excellent next question I guess that's the last question which of the following shows coiled RNA strands with capsomeres this example this this was given my dear students in uh, let me explain you yeah so one of the image is given in this paragraph where virus viroids are discussed right so out of the two image one image the first one is related this question is based on that first image can anybody can anybody relate to that yes excellent this is tobacco mosaic virus the tmv virus it has a single stranded rna molecule in a coil state and there's a protein coat capsid which has units capsomeres right excellent so that's all my lovely kids So till now if you haven't joined to the Telegram channel official Telegram channel of Infinity Learn uh, need please join it down the link will be given in the description so in this video click on the description and click on this link to join the Telegram channel where you will get notes and PDFs of these session as well as other extra study material that is going to help you in the coming need 2022 exam preparation so do it now you'll get assignment notes daily updates and what not right you might not even miss any single session if you will follow the telegram channel where they will be give you will be provided daily updates so that's all my lovely kids thank you very very much for joining this session 
till now if you haven't subscribed to infinity learn by Sri Chaitanya YouTube channel there is a neat channel separate and there's an infinity learn channel as well please subscribe both the channel infinity learn as well as infinity learn neat channel and this session these PYQ sessions will be continued on infinity learn by Sri Chaitanya neat channel right so do not forget to subscribe that give me a thumbs up and also leave comments how useful you find this session right so thank you very very much let me tell you in advance that on Friday my dear students we will have PYQs on plant kingdom so do not miss out that session everybody thank you very very much for joining this class that's all from this class my kids will meet again bye bye thank you